Initial commissioning on this pump is very simple. Once you have the main disconnect powered on, the drive will power up, and this is a, the default screen that you'll always see on power up. And this is also the screen that you'll use to change the set point should you need to do that. We have it set for 50. I'll show you exactly what you need to do. We'll set it for 70. It's just a matter of using the plus minus keys. Hit one of them once, and then literally you can hold it down until you get the set pressure that you need. I'll see if I can do it without going past that. So it's 60. Hit OK, and now you have a new set pressure. Now you'll notice this green light is blinking. The green light blinks when the drive is disabled. We have a disable, enable switch down here. When you turn this to enable, you'll notice the light goes solid, and now the pump is operating. What I like to do, you can use this right arrow key and go over one screen and then you can go down and you'll see it'll actually display the pressure that is being read on the discharge side of the pump. That's kind of a good way to leave that so you can kind of see what's going on. Obviously we don't have this piped up so we're showing negative pressure. Okay, we do as I mentioned, we have a pressure switch on the suction piping. If we lose city pressure, that pressure switch will actuate and give an input to the VFD and you'll, it will shut the VFD down, shut the pump down, and you'll get this on the screen, dry running. And you'll notice you've got a red alarm light. Uh, to clear that, you have to hit OK. Obviously, if the dry run condition is not cleared, it's not gonna clear. Once that clears, it will automatically reset. Dry run pressure switch is set up to shut the pump down when it sees less than 3 PSI. Once that pressure is restored above 5 PSI, it will automatically restart the pump. Just a quick note, if you turn the breaker on and the drive doesn't appear to power up, check on the inside and make sure that this breaker is flipped up if it's that's just to protect that circuit protection for the drive it could have been off or tripped once you get that back up then we have power to the drive